What's up my friends, it's Dr. Gaines here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the three best exercises so you can learn and master your front lever in the easiest way possible. So the front lever is an advanced calisthenics move. It's a static movement, which involves a lot of strength in the core, your lats, your back, and your rear delts. So it's a pretty inclusive compound movement. And I'm gonna show you the three best exercises you need to implement if you're trying to learn the front lever this year. Let's start by understanding the fundamentals of a front lever. As I mentioned, it involves a lot of core and a lot of your back muscles. So with my philosophy, the most efficient way to learn the front lever is to strengthen your core and to strengthen your back muscles associated with that front lever. It doesn't have to be complicated. So we're gonna start with our first movement, which is just your traditional pull-up. Having a strong pulling foundation is going to be crucial to learning your front lever because it's heavily focused on your back. Now, one trick you could do when doing your pull-ups is engaging your core through a posterior pelvic tilt. That means rather than keeping an arch in your back, you wanna suck your belly button in, turn those hips forward, and keep a tight core throughout your pull-ups. So let me show you how that should look. So as always, full range of motion, you want a full lockout at the bottom. Now we're gonna tip our feet slightly forward here. That's going to engage your core a lot more than if you just had your hips and legs relaxed or if they were behind you. From there, pull up, right back down, repeat. So engaging your core by tipping your feet forward is going to be key to learning your front lever because not only are you working on your pulling strength and your back, but you're also engaging your core, which is gonna carry over to those front levers. Just like how on the front lever, you're using both your back and your core. So now let's move on to the second aspect of the front lever. That's the best way to train your back with it, but what's the best way to train your core? First, we have to understand what core muscles are involved with the front lever. Oftentimes when people are doing front levers, you might see them with sagging hips. The reason for these sagging hips is because you need a tremendous amount of strength in your transverse abdominis. It's not just your normal rectus abdominis muscles, but your internal ab muscles and your lower abs. Those play a crucial role in keeping a nice alignment in your front lever. So you might be wondering what are the best exercises to train your transverse abdominis and your lower abs. I have three which are my best suggestions. The first one that I prefer is any core exercise from a hollow body position. So a hollow body position, shoulders slightly off the ground, legs are up, core is tight, and you're flattening your lower back against the floor. From that position, you could do flutters, you could do scissors, you could do leg lifts, any of those. Those are all great for working your transverse abdominis and working those lower abs, and they're really gonna strengthen that core and help you get that line on a front lever. Another exercise you could do that will strengthen similar muscles are any exercise that involve a pike position. So from here, you could do knee tucks, or you could do leg lifts, or you could do an L-sit hold. Those exercises are going to be a little bit more challenging. So if you're not yet at that level, you can regress to the previous exercises I showed. And the third core exercise is going to be the most advanced one. It's a dragonfly, and it's going to work very similar muscles as the previous two exercises. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult. So if you find a bench similar to this or on the floor, you wanna get into position. Just like on your front lever, you wanna keep a nice line with your entire body. You don't want your hips and legs to fall out of alignment. So that you see a tremendous amount of strength on your core. So from here, nice and straight, controlled, back up, and repeat. So again, that is the most advanced of the core exercises to train for your front lever. Any of those three could be good, but I want you to keep in mind, the easier the exercise, the more reps you should be doing. Personally, I never really trained dragonflies, L-sits, or leg lifts. I primarily trained those exercises from a hollow body position, and just by doing a lot of reps with those, it gave me the strength to do dragonflies, to do L-sits, and to do leg lifts. Uh, and the third exercise to learn your front lever is simply training front levers. So one of my philosophies in fitness or anything in life is to train to be good at something, you should be training the specific thing. So what I mean by that is not to get too lost in trying to get creative or trying to find a magic exercise or certain accessory exercises. 
train specifically for what you're trying to get better at. For example, if you're trying to be a better runner, maybe certain exercises like Romanian deadlifts, box jumps, and things of that nature might help strengthen the legs and make you sprint a little bit faster, but nothing is gonna triumph just sprinting and running more often. So same philosophy with the front lever. If you're trying to get better at front levers, you definitely need to train specifically just a front lever. So let's come over here. So before you could front lever, the best way to train a front lever is with a resistance band because this is going to allow you to still do the movement exactly as it should be done, but with a little bit of assistance. So this is a very thin band. You probably wouldn't start with this. You might start with a band that's about two or three inches thick. And as you get better, you make the holds a little bit longer and then you start to get to thinner and thinner bands. So with the band, just like an assisted pull up, you wanna get both the feet in the band. And then from there, just do a normal front lever. How I used to like to do it, I would hold a front lever as long as I can, then just knock out a couple reps. Now something you'll notice is a lot of strain on your rear delts when you're doing a front lever and even with a band. So training the specific movement with the band is going to help strengthen those rear delts when it comes to actually doing a body weight front lever. It targets them a little bit more than your traditional pull-ups and you're definitely gonna feel that difference. So there you have it, my friends. Those are the three best exercises you need to implement today if you're trying to learn your front lever. Technically, it was five because I showed three different core exercises. But as I mentioned, you could just pick one of any of those exercises and do that consistently because consistency is going to be what triumphs all. Don't get too worried about which exercise specifically because we're more worried about just strengthening those core muscles, strengthening those back muscles, and learning the movement of the front lever. So implement those three exercises, and I promise you, if you do it consistently, you're going to master that front lever. So if you liked the video, make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.